Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two equilateral uh, triangles uh, ABC and uh, PQD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that we get uh, this uh, blue triangle uh, CDE. And furthermore, uh, the side length uh, of these uh, equilateral triangle uh, is uh, eight uh, units. Uh, across the board. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, CDE. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we go any further, let me just uh, make sure that uh, D is the mid point uh, for this uh, line uh, AB. And we know this whole side length AB is 8. And since D is our midpoint, so therefore this segment AD is going to be 4 units. And likewise, this BD is going to be 4 units as well. And now we know that both of these triangles are equilateral triangle. And just keep in your mind that the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees each. So therefore all these angles are going to be 60 degrees each across the board. All of them just keep in your mind this one and finally this one as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, B, C, D. And we know this is our right uh, triangle since this is our 90 degree angle. And we know that this is our 60 degree angle. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. So therefore we can see that this uh, triangle uh, B, C, D is our special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here I have copied down that uh, triangle uh, BCD over here. And here we can see that this 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to that one is going to be our smallest uh, leg. Whereas this uh, 90 degree is our largest angle. So therefore the side opposite to that angle is going to be our largest uh, leg. And in such kind of triangle, uh, the largest leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. If the smallest leg is uh, x units, uh, then the largest leg is going to be 2 times that one. That is going to be 2 times x. Uh, and the third leg uh, is going to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we know that our uh, this uh, BD length is uh, 4 uh, units. So therefore, uh, this largest leg is going to be 2 times 4 is going to be 8 and this uh, third leg uh, CD is going to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore our this uh, CD length uh, turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 3 as you can see over here. And let's make one more uh, observation. We know that this whole angle is uh, 60 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be 30 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, CDE. We know this angle is 60 degrees. This angle is uh, 30 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this triangle uh, CDE is a right uh, triangle. And since we wanted to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle, so therefore we must find uh, these uh, side lengths uh, ED and uh, EC. And now let's recall uh, so Cartoa and we are interested in uh, sine theta equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. And we are interested in an angle uh, 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this side is going to be opposite uh, and this uh, longest leg is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore, according to this uh, Sokatoa, sine of uh, 30 degrees uh, is going to be equal to our opposite uh, side is uh, ED divided by our hypotenuse is uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And we know that uh, sine of 30 degrees uh, is uh, 1 divided by 2. 
So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, sine of 30 degrees by 1 divided by 2. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down 1 divided by 2 equals to e d divided by 4 times the square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 times the square root of 3 and this uh, by 4 times the square root of 3 as well to isolate uh, e d. And here we can see this uh, cancels out. So therefore, e d length uh, turns out to be when we simplify this thing uh, that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore our this uh, length uh, ed turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 3. And now let's recall uh, so Cartois once again and this time we are interested in uh, cosine theta equal to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. And this time uh, we are once again interested in angle uh, 30 degrees. So this uh, side is uh, going to be our adjacent side and this uh, log slag is going to be our hypotenuse. So therefore uh, cosine theta which is adjacent divided by hypotenuse uh, is going to give us a cosine of uh, 30 degrees equal to adjacent in our case is uh, EC divided by hypotenuse is uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now cosine of 30 degrees uh, is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by square root of uh, 3 divided by 2 equals to EC divided by 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now let's multiply both sides by 4 times uh, square root of 3 on this side, 4 times square root of 3 on this side as well to isolate uh, EC. And here we can see this and this is uh, gone. So therefore uh, EC length uh, turns out to be and here this uh, 2 goes into 4 2 times and then we got uh, square root of 3 times uh, square root of 3 as well. And if you multiply these uh, two radicals that's going to give us 3. So 3 times 2 is going to give us uh, 6. So therefore our EC length uh, turns out to be 6 uh, units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times uh, height. And in our case, uh, our base is uh, 6 and our height is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 3. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be a half times our base is uh, 6 and our height is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and if we simplify everything uh, the area turns out to be 6 uh, times uh, square root of 3 square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 6 times uh, square root of 3 square units and that is approximately equal to 10.4 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.